We're on. We're on. No, yeah, but you press the button. Hey? You press the button. Uh, yeah, it's got a red dot and it's doing stuff. I didn't hear a beep, did you? No? Yeah, I heard a beep. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Here we are. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> right. <laughs> He's got his pyjamas on. <laughs> got my pyjamas on. <laughs> Don't you start Phil. Here's Phil, everyone. Oh, good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> right. Well, we'll do it this way. Right, okay. ready? Forget that, mate. Right, let's start okay. again. Greetings, RC Model Geeks. And here we are in the shed again for part 15 of the Hobby King DW Hobby J3 Cub build. That's a mouthful, isn't it? It's a mouthful. <laughs> so um, today we're going to work on the tail. We've got to get that glued onto the body yeah. um, and then get the rigging done. So I've already started. I've actually glued this uh, this top part on, which is going to support the rudder. Uh -huh. And that is all centered up. Now, the reason I've done that is because because this locks into the fuselage, it makes it easier to jig it all. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, what we're going to do, I deliberately covered the whole of this tailplane. I didn't um, leave this bare. This is where the fuselage is going to mate up to the tailplane. Uh-huh. All right. And I deliberately covered it because I wanted to show you a trick. And what trick's that? Ah. Uh -huh. If you buy an almost ready to fly, you know, sod's law, they all come like that. Mm. Yeah, with the cover in there that needs to be cut away. Right. Now, if you cut that away with a knife, yeah. Guaranteed, you will cut into the balsa. Yeah. If you cut into the balsa, it's a weak point. Yeah. Yeah, and you know that is where your tail is going to snap if you ever knock it or anything like that. No, that's true. I haven't thought of that actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what we're going to do is show you the way to do it without buggering up the balsa. So, how do you cut the? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I've marked the outer edge of the fuselage on my tail. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the two lines there. Now, what we want to do, because we don't want this showing, we're not going to cut to that line. Right, OK. Yeah, we want to be inside by, you know, a couple of mil, maybe, like that. Yeah? OK. So that the edge of the covering is actually hidden. Right. It won't make any difference to the strength of it when it's glued. OK. So, need a ruler. Right. You need your tailplane. Right. Ruler on there, giving it a little bit of an offset. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you offset it the right way because otherwise your thing's going to look stupid. Okay. Then we get a soldering iron. All oh, right. Okay. And we're going to go like that. We're going to get the soldering iron. And we're going to do this. You might need to do it a couple of times, depending on the temperature of your soldering iron. Mm -hmm. And that is melting the cover in a way. Oh, well, okay, it seals the edge as well. And it seals the edge. All right, okay. So we'll turn it round. <coughs> and we'll do the same thing again. Get it roughly right. Soldier line. Okay. Mm. Then, with your knife, this is the only time you need to use the knife. Mm -hmm. Depending on how well this is uh, stuck down to the balsa, your covering will lift off. Hey. Yeah, I ironed this down quite well, so. Hmm. There you go. Ooh. 
for wheel cut. Yeah, it's good covering, it's nice and tough. There. So you're left with not much covering to get off. There you go, and this is just just a matter of picking it off. Mm. But that is basically how you do it, and then you don't cut into your into your balsa, you don't weaken it, and it's all wonderful. This bit's a well stuck down bit. But mm. well, we can just rub that off. Yeah, so there you go. So we're gonna get on with sticking that on. Mm hmm And come back to you in a bit. Okay. Okay. So busy morning, eh there, Mad Colin? Yeah, we've been progressing progressingly. We have been progressing progressively. <laughs> <laughs> we've progressed. Yes. Um well one thing I didn't show you uh, yesterday. Uh we've got the hinges on the door. Oh yeah, let's have a look at that. That looks nice. Open. Look at that. Close. The hinges have to go on the outside. Yes. Uh, otherwise the door doesn't open, unfortunately. Hmm. So uh, yeah, we painted them yellow. Well, just gave them a blow over. Hmm. And here's the handle. Um, that's, well, that's for putting your gin and tonic on when you go flying, actually. That's, yeah, or if uh, Phil's flying, it's designed for his big fingers. Oh, it is designed for Phil's big hands. <laughs> so yeah, that opens and closes nicely, look at that. Yeah. Uh, and it's got some magnets on it there to hold it shut, yeah. which is good. Uh, anyway, so back to the tail. Uh -huh. uh, we've got the whole tail glued in. Yeah. Perfecto. Um, closed loop is connected back up, etc., etc. There's the tail wheel. If anybody wants to look at the tail wheel, we've yeah. just got to put this, screw this plate in, uh, and then she's done. Mm -hmm. Um. So the next thing is the rigging. Yes. Frigging in the rigging. Um, we've already started to do the rigging. Yeah. Um, put some solder tags through our holes. Well, screws through the holes, solder tags. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there'll be two that mount uh, on side. On, into one of these screws here. Mm, yeah. As well. So there'll be one running across there to there. Yeah as well. This isn't really functional rigging, it will be because you know we're using the puck of stuff mm. um, but it's not actually needed for this kit but obviously the real size has it, mm. full size. So um, we're going to get on with that now and um, we might show you how to do a bit of um, stuff. Okay. Yeah because uh, the, the way we're doing this is exactly the same method you would do for a pull pull system. Yeah. So um, we'll show you how to do that. If I open the door, I am door. Yeah, you can show the pull pull system in there. Have a look at the. Um, there's the pull pull. Look. Yeah, yeah, sitting in the middle there. Hmm. So we'll show you how to do a bit of that. Right. Right. Back soon when Mad Collins got his hands dirty because he's going to do it. Okay. So we know to blame. Uh, if it all goes terribly wrong. Uh, yes. All right. Then. Where are the cutters? Hi guys. <laughs> yes, I know. I've got look at this jump jumper. On. Yeah. Look. It looks good on his daughter. Yeah. <laughs> but it's warm. Right. My jumpers are all itchy and horrible stuff. Mm. Right. Okay. So, here we are. Mad Colin is going to do the cables on the rear there. When I found the... Um, We've done one, actually. You know, cut uh, Which is there. I've got them, mate. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, good. Uh, yeah, we've done one here. Uh, so now Colin is going to show you how to do it. Okay. Here you go, mate. Cheers. Right, so we went and bought some um, some plastic coated steel fishing line. Okay, unfortunately, hasn't got the label on it anymore. Here's the label. That's what we bought. Yeah. Oh, well, let's put it down there and see. Yeah, it won't fly away then. There you go. <clears throat> that is what we bought. Okay, off eBay, I think it was about two or three quid. Cost you more that in a tackle shop. Yeah, I might be wrong. Mm. And it comes with ten crimps, which is quite handy. Mm. Um, even though it says five on there, it comes with ten in the box. So, what Colin's going to do first of all is cut some off. Yeah. So I'm just going to make sure I've got 
More than enough, rather More than, than enough. Yeah, than enough. we've got ten meters, so we're not yeah. too worried about uh, the not being enough. And you want a good pair of cutters because it's stainless. It is stainless. Yeah. Now this you can actually buy in different colours. Um, the the plastic coating over it. They they do uh, like clear, black, white, red, green. I think as well. Um, we went for the natural colour because obviously yeah. we want you know want it to look like steel cables. Which I'll, it is. I'll try and do it over the wingy so you can get a... That's a tail, mate. Over the no, tail one, with... no one you don't fly anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, over, the, over the tail, then. And then hook him through there. Give yourself plenty. Yeah. Because you want to feed it through. Yeah, so you've end. already slid the crimp on to, uh, to the wire, then there you've looped go. it round. There we go. And then you've fed it, uh, <coughs> thread it through again. Yeah. And now you're going to slide the whole lot up there, aren't you? That's right. So I hold on to the short bit and just pull the long bit until... Until we leave a little loop. The loop size isn't critical. We don't want to pull it too tight. There you go. Something like that. But, you know, um, something like that will work quite nicely. And then it's going to do the same to the other side. Now, with those um, solder tags that we've got on there, those are M3 solder tags, obviously you just want to bend them so that they point to your other attachment point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we're pretty... Yeah, I've, I've already tweaked them for you. Yeah, that looks good. Good. Yeah. Don't forget to put your heat shrink now, on. Yeah, what we're doing, we're, we're putting a bit of heat shrink over the whole joint when it's finished as well. We're not we're not crimping the crimps yet. Um, we're just getting it all together, get it right, and then crimp it, and then we just heat shrink over it to tidy it up. Yeah. And then <clears throat> your crimp on first, like so. Uh, yes. Now remember to use a crimp on rather than a tampon. Yeah. Otherwise it could be get quite messy. <laughs> it could. It could get very messy. Now I'm probably want to spend it up very slightly. About like that. So through there. And then find your... It is. The force is very strong in this one. And then back through the crimp itself like so yeah uh, any, but any of you guys that are into uh, fishing and stuff you'll you'll probably be used to this kind of thing anyway yeah that's right yeah especially if you use um, steel trace that's right okay and again holding on to the short bit just start to bring your tension up and then you can just bring that through like that and then what I'm doing is I'm holding the crimp in one place and just pulling the loop through so I'm now looking at pulling it a bit more starting to get a bit more tension on it A little bit more. Yeah, it just wants to be tight. It doesn't want to pull on anything. No. It just wants to be tight. Yeah. Now that is probably getting quite yeah, close. Can, yeah, it's close. Could go a little t a tad more there, yeah. mate. That's that's not bad. That's probably about it. Let's have a let's have a quick feel of that. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So what you've got to remember is that, this is, that screw isn't is that right down there? Yeah, he's right <coughs> down. If that's pulled up, then that will adjust the tension slightly. Yeah, we can just check him. That's, that looks all right. It looks like it's down. It should look a little bit higher than the other one. That was all. So it's probably about the same. Yeah, they're about right. So there you go. I mean, that's the basics of it. Um, 
So next thing, Colin's just going to crimp that crimp with a pair of cutters. Obviously, don't cut all the way through. No. We, we do three crimps, one at each end and one in the middle. Like that. And then what we do is basically slide some heat shrink over there. Whoops, when it goes over. It. And, and we shrink it and then do the other crimp at that end. There we go, and then there cut go. off the excess. Yeah, cut off your uh, excess. Just leave a little bit sticking out, not much. I only want like two or three mil, not like Colin's done. <laughs> oh, what, heat, heat, shrink, heat shrink will cover it. Yeah, there you go. Cover it. There you go. Uh, yeah, and you're going to trim off the other end. That's a little bit long as well, mate. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of that off, look. Yeah. What some people do, you can actually fold that, loop that back round and stick it through the crimp again. Um, but for this, you know, it's it's not really required. So what I like to do at this point, before I heat shrink it, is I like to just run a bit of super glue in that lot as well. Yeah, just to give it a little bit of extra uh, support mm. and then shrink the uh, the heat shrink up while the super glue is still wet and that makes a really nice strong joint hmm. with no slippage okay just to do a bit of super yes. like that. get it all round and then yeah basically you slide that up and it should right and then we can shrink that on there uh-huh. Uh, there it is. I found it. He's found it. I found a heat shrink gun. No. That's good. Here's Colin's uh, heat deflector so it doesn't melt the cover in. Yeah, good idea. Metal plate or cardboard, anything like that. Of course, if it was plugged in, mate, it'd probably work better, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? We'll be back with you when Colin's plugged the, uh, the the hot air gun in. It's not plugged in, mate. No, rather oh, the Dremel's in. Yeah. Okay. Two secs. Be right with you. And we have heat shrink. Contact. Yes. Right. There we go. That's it. Beautiful, and that is uh, that shrunk on there. And we we'll do the same at the bottom one. Want to double? Yeah, bit of glue, a bit of super on that. Let's grab the super glue. Super glue, super glue. Yeah, so get it all over that crimp. You want it to run down inside that crimp, really, as well. Yeah, there we go. Look. That's it. That's it. And then we'll just slide that over. Rob's doing the. Uh, there you go. Underside, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it up a little bit, that's it. There you go. And so that is now two very nice oh, right. wires. Right, tension. Yeah. Right, we'll be back with you when we've done the rest. Aren't we mad, Colin? Yes, we will, Rob. In his daughter's jumper. Lovely and warm. Again. No, I know. I'm trying to get this, got, you know. I got accused of wearing my pajamas yesterday. Well, you were. Well, actually, believe it or not, I still am. You still am. <laughs> oh no, the trousers are different. Oh well, at least. I didn't want to get super glue all over right. the trousers. Back with you soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, the tail is uh, finished. All looks lovely, jubbly. Uh, yeah, it looks quite sort of scale like. Yeah, it's nice. And so now we're moving on to the ESC. Yes, the electronic speed controller. Yes. <laughs> I just had to get that. Yeah, I thought you did. <laughs> right, we're using a red brick. We are. And it's going to be uh, completely reliable for us. It's not going to cock up or anything. Now, um, with a lot of ESCs, yeah, you can get extra cooling out of them. Yes. 
Yeah, the whole thing is uh, heat shrunk, right? Yeah. And what you'll find with a lot of ESCs is they've actually got a finned heat sink. They have. But it's covered over. With heat but shrink. With heat shrink. <laughs> it is. Very silly of them. So, um, what I've done um, is I've cut a panel out of the heat shrink. And there you can see the finned heat sink. Hmm. Um, you know, if you get that in the wind, you're going to get a lot more cooling on your ESC. Yeah, of course you are. Um, than it covered over like that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've cut that out. Um, I'm also We're also going to directly solder. We're not going to use um, the old bullet connectors. No, we're going to hard wire. Uh, yeah, because we're going for sh uh, shortness and compactness. But mm -hmm. basically, this ESC is going in there. Once it goes in, and it's going to sit under here. Mm -hmm. And then we're directly soldering our wires to the ESC or to very short wires on it. Yeah. I was contemplating unsoldering these three wires and then just soldering onto the circuit board, mm. but I couldn't be bothered. CBA. Yes, CBA. Couldn't be asked. That's right. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, that is what we're going to do. It might go that way. It really wants to go that way to get the fins in the airflow there, but um, it's basically going to go underneath the, uh, the motor there, and then these are going to be soldered and uh, heat shrunk. Loads of cooling. Yeah, loads of cooling. So we're going to get on with that and come back to you when we've done it. Okay. Bits of the Phil's here. How to do? Hey! Hi, hey. Phil. He always comes when we're nearly finished. Yes. You notice <laughs> that. Yeah. I like the door. Yeah, Phil likes the door. It's got a handle that's Phil sized. Yes. It's, it's Can I show you? Yeah, yeah you got got a... Look at that. Look at the size of it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, oh, <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? Mm. So we've run up the motor. Oh. Um, we're trying a couple of different props on it. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a 12.6 on this motor. Mm-hmm. Because um, we're putting in about 60 amps, which is... Uh, and it's done off pull, doesn't it? Oh, it's bloody... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, um, temporarily got the ESC there. It's going to go something like that. Um... Yeah, we'll probably cable tie that on, I think, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's getting there now. Um, probably one more video before the maiden, maybe. Yeah. Uh, maybe maiden it on Sunday if the weather's good. Um, old Bix of Phil here says it's going to be shit weather tomorrow. Mr. Doom and Gloom, I yeah, yeah. Mr. Metastopheles. Yeah, with his high dedral. <laughs> yeah, don't try saying it, Cole. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, I've been practicing that one all day. <laughs> oh, no, Metastopheles. Oh, Metastopheles. Metastopheles. <laughs> oh, Metastopheles. One of your Greek god. Uh, or was that agri? It was probably a. a no, that's agrophobia. You're lecture, thinking, mate. A lecturer or some sort of sort. Aristocracies. No, Aristotle. Oh, is it? Aristocracies. <laughs> <laughs> that was um. No, never mind. Okay. Say Peter Piker picked a peck of pickled pepper. What? Yeah, exactly. So, anyway, <laughs> here we are. Right. It's, a, it's, it's, it's that time of the day yeah, where the fumes have got to us. And, and, and it's late. Uh, yeah, and it, it's time to call it a day. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, one more video probably. Um, I've got to cover the other wing yet. So, uh, need to get that done out of the way. And then just a few more tidying up bits on the, uh, on the plane itself. Hmm. Um, I've got to, got to glue the motor mount in yet. It's only just like screwed on there at the moment with two screws to give it a bit of tweakage. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so um, like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to email us, it's on the end of Colin's finger there. There it is. Uh, oh, it's not your blistered finger, is it? Show everybody your blistered finger. My blistered finger? Um, probably against your jumper. Where is it? Yeah, the, oh, the, bless. Oh. Anyone got a sharp knife? <laughs> <laughs> Stick it down there and we'll sort yeah, it out. Yeah, we'll sort no, it out. No, it's mate. okay. No. One, one little slit and it'll be fine, yeah, buddy. But you don't use anaesthetic. <laughs> got a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, right, so Ender Collins Finger is the email address. Yes, which is right there. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Yeah. We'll be back tomorrow for more. Excitement. Excitement oh, and building fun. What? Oh, hang on a minute. We've got... Um, yeah, we've got a red flashing, no minutes of card left. Oh. Well, that's it then. Bye! 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 Bye. Bye. See ya!